Some live. Good morning, beautiful people of Instagram. This is Jose Trujillo. I'm in my home. I'm not in my studio, not yet. But I wanted to talk to you really quick here this morning about something that I believe is very important. Something that I truly believe that will change the outcome of your success, will change your outcome, will change, will transform what you're doing. And that is, uh, don't, don't, don't go with the flow of what everybody's trying to say out there, guys. It is very difficult already as it is to change your, your mind, to, to expand your paradigm um, from, from thinker to action. Look, there's only one reason why things aren't working, guys. Only one reason. If you have an art career and things aren't working the way you want them to, or if they're working already but you haven't made the jump to something bigger, there's only one reason, guys. There's not, there's not enough activity. Nobody wants to talk about this. Almost nobody out there wants to talk about this. No artist, no coach. Um, they'll come up with gimmicky stuff like, oh, figure out Facebook, figure out this, figure out that. But the reality is that there's not enough activity. There's not enough activity. So to you, I say, to you artists, I say, do not make the mistake to organize first. You spent all of your life organizing. You've bought notebook after notebook. I know because I've done it myself. You bought notebook after notebook. You plan your day. You try to schedule. It's painful. It's, it's, uh, it's difficult. It's very difficult, very painful to try to organize. Because in real life, that doesn't, it doesn't work like that. It, it may be in a, in, a, in a movie or somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> in real life, it doesn't work like that. In real life, the way that it works is that you go and you do. And you do so much that you, you create a fire first. You create a fire. Light yourself on fire first. Figuratively speaking, of course. Make sure that you're lit first. And then you start figuring out the next steps. But what we try to what we try to do, what we tend to do, is we tend to organize first. We tend to organize. We tend to think, oh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna work my schedule or or uh, whatever. We start thinking about what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it, and that is not the way to do things. That is not the way to do things. Um, we we are afraid of burnout and. It's, I mean, science shows. They just did a study. Uh, you can you can look for it. You can Google it. It's worth the Google. I've known this. Uh, I've known this for a long time, but I did not act upon it. But I've known this for a long time. This is something that 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 I have heard of over and over and over, and uh, from different people from different. Uh, coaches of different people the more you do the more you can do that's the bottom line the more you do the more you can do there's there's science behind it uh, I mean there's always been science Newton talked about the law of motion uh, Galileo's inertia um, there's science behind it they just did a study I don't know what university you can google it uh, the busiest you are, the more you get stuff done. If you want something done, give it to the busiest person. The reason why is because they're in motion. This is something that I I have struggled with. Because I go from, I need to stay in motion, right? But I also need to, I need to hire people and I need to do this and I need to expand. And how's it going, how's it going Linda? And I need to do A, B, and C. So... So which one is it? Do I stay in motion or do I or do I become more of a more of a more of an entrepreneur, CEO, not really a worker? It's so funny the reality is that you got to do both. You got to do both. And and most of us try to stay in one or the other, one or the other lane, and it doesn't work that way, guys. 
it does not work that way. If you want to get shit done, you got to do it yourself. You just have to do it yourself. You have to do it yourself. And you have to continue doing it yourself, even if you hire people, even if you, whatever, whatever it is. Even if you, you, you subcontract whatever you need to do. Uh, if you're an artist, uh, for example, if you're a painter, right? If you're not, if you're not lit, if you're not on fire, if you're not moving like a mad person doing everything, see, because here's a little trick, guys. Here's a little, here's a little, the little secret. The whole reason, the whole reason for all of the stuff that I'm talking about is so that you train yourself to a different muscle activity. Most of us are not trained to a different, to a higher muscle to a higher activity level. Most of us are like that. Most of us were socialized to only do a little bit. And this is why shit doesn't work. This is why we have such a hard time selling artwork. This is why we have such a hard time uh, getting exhibits and on and on and on. Or we do and then we, we panic if we have to paint and prepare the exhibit. And if, oh, God forbid we sell something because now we have to package that and ship it. So we panic. And the only reason we panic it's because we haven't trained ourselves to a higher activity level. That's the only reason. The only reason things don't work in your career, it's not because of time. It's not because you're not a good artist. It's not because all of the excuses that we put on it. It's because your activity level, your motion is very slow. Your motion. And this has nothing to do with age. It has nothing to do with any of that. It's, it's, it's a muscle. It's a resistance muscle. The more you put on your plate, okay, the more you're able to do. It's a hidden secret. It's, a, it's, it's one of those things that people want to avoid. People want to avoid that. I know that. I wanted to avoid that. I, I've been wanting to avoid it forever. You know, It's one of those things that people, just, people want to avoid it. People want to be like, oh, no, if, if I put less... Less is more. We, we come up with bullshit like that. Like, oh no, if I, just, if I just focus on this. The reality is that it is not the work that you do. It is that you have to like yourself on fire. And almost nobody's willing to do that. You have to literally light yourself on fire. If you see any of the top producers in any industry, any industry, even the way they walk, even the way they walk. Just pay attention to the way they walk. Pay attention to when, they, when they're going to do something. As soon as they think about it, they do it. It's not something that, oh, yeah, let me put it here. Let me, let me write it down and schedule it. Morning. Morning. I'll be with you. Okay. I've learned something interesting. The, the, the higher the, 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 the CEO, the, the, the more income they make, the more, the more uh, uh, success they have, the less they schedule. They schedule almost nothing. They schedule almost nothing. They're not, they're not schedulers. I'm talking about people that are, you know, making stuff happen for themselves and their company. They don't schedule they don't organize. They're not managers. They're not managers. They're not managers. Managers do that. Managers manage. You're not a manager, guys. You're an entrepreneur. If you're an artist, you're an entrepreneur. You're not a manager. You don't manage time. You don't go, oh, yeah. No, you create time. Entrepreneur, the difference between a manager and an entrepreneur is that entrepreneur creates time. A manager manages whatever time they have. They manage, they put little pockets here and they move it. And they're like, oh, okay, I got an appointment at 12.15. Oh, that's managing time. <laughs> I love that. You love fire so much with everything you do, including yourself. You just, you, you gotta, you gotta light yourself on fire. It's the only way. I don't know any other way. <coughs> I, 
you've organized your whole life. You know, if you're an artist and you're watching this, I know that. You know, maybe not everybody. This was definitely the case for my my life and every artist I know, but I personally know. You've you've organized so much that you've paralyzed that you're like, oh, it's it's too much. Of course, it's too much. Of course, it's too much. It's like telling the lights. It's like telling. It's like driving at night, going to another state at night in your car, and telling the lights of your car. Right? You guys heard it. It's telling the lights of your car, or, or your your the lights of your car, saying, "If I can't see beyond two hundred feet, if I can't see exactly where it where it's at, I gotta turn off. I'm not even gonna try." Of course not, right? There's a trust. There's only 200 feet watching. I'm only watching 200 feet. There's a trust. The lights of the car, it's not, they're, they're not looking at the whole thing. If they were, it, it, it would be ludicrous. Of course not. You know, it's like if the lights of the car had conscience and say, if I don't see from here to the next state, I'm not I, won't even, I won't turn on. And, and, it's meant to only see the next 100 feet or 200 feet or whatever. It's, it's meant to see only the next short because you keep moving. So as you keep moving, you see the next part. See, the, the trick of the lights of the car is that the car keeps moving. And it moves with speed. That's the trick. It's the same in, 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 a, in a human being. Look, you're an artist. You've carried around fucking little notebooks. And you're like writing stuff down. You're like, yeah, uh, okay, talk to galleries. Yeah, okay, uh, I'm gonna go and make some paintings. Cool, yeah, uh, buy frames. Uh, new collection of art. You keep organizing all this stuff. And at the end of the day, you see your list and you're like, oh my God, it's so much. How am I ever gonna get it done? That's not how you get stuff done. The mind, please know this, guys. If you can get anything out of what I'm talking about. The mind is the lights of the car. The mind is the lights of the car. The engine is your heart. Keep moving. Keep moving. Don't mind this so much. You will stagnate if you keep focusing. If you keep trying to figure, figure, you will want to turn off. It doesn't work that way. It never has, it never will. That is not the way the human being works. Light yourself on fucking fire. What I mean by this is create so much activity, ridiculous amount of activity. Ridiculous, where people are like, you're just ridiculous, you're crazy. How do you do that? Hire people, don't do it. This is what people have been telling me my whole life. You're ridiculous, dude. Why are you doing so much? Hire someone. Um... You don't work so much. You're killing yourself. I, I, I bought into that way of thinking. And all it's done for my career is this. See, because there's a, there's a, uh, there's a fear. Oh my God, am I, am I working so much? You know, there's no such thing as that. It is bullshit. Everybody's got 24 hours. I sleep eight, sometimes I sleep nine. It's ridiculous. I just heard Arnold, the governor of California, <laughs> get you the chapa. He, he should know about nutrition, right? I mean, Mr. Olympia and all that shit, right? Mr. Musclehead. Ugh. He should know about nutrition. He says that the human being doesn't eat more than six hours. And he says, if you sleep eight, sleep faster. <laughs> It's, it's, I mean, whatever, you know, maybe you need eight hours. It doesn't matter. But what do you do with the other 16? What do you do with the other 16 hours? What are you doing? And, and we're so enamored with the idea to do less. You cannot do less and get more. It's impossible. It doesn't work that way. You, you cannot do less and try to become a great artist. You cannot do less and try to get more sales. It's impossible. It, 
it's the correlation. It's just not there, you know. It's, it'll just go around itself. It's not there. It is impossible to do that. You cannot get more sales if you don't if you don't put if you don't create more artwork and put more listings, or or go knock on more doors, or do both, or do all of it. It's impossible. When you're going to do things. To the five second rule yeah yeah the five second rule is extremely important i i i, I love that i i watched that ted talk i i actually bought the book the lady yeah yeah do a countdown five four three two one the the, the the thing about the thing about this the thing about this is uh that as soon as you think of it you know, as soon as you think of something, the the the, the thing about that what what I would add to this trick of the of the five second rule, which is extremely important, and it's the way to to, to get something done, is that I'm, I'm I'm trying to take it a little bit further. I'm trying to say a little, a little, just a little extra. Look, as soon as you think about something, do it, but but do not. Cherry pick activities is really what I'm trying to say here. Do not cherry pick activities. Of course, as soon as you think of something, do it. But but my message today really is: do not cherry pick activities. You will lose the game if you cherry pick activities. Do not cherry pick activities. Meaning, if you're walking by your studio and you see a piece of paper on the floor, go pick it up. Don't say I'm too busy. I need to paint. Go mop the studio. Go, go, go. It, do it as quick as possible. Go do strange stuff. Cherry pick, yeah. Cherry pick means that that you're that you you'll you'll do some stuff, but you won't do some other stuff because because you're an artist, right? Because you're an artist, you're like I, this is what something that I've told myself, and other people have told me. And I bought into it. I bought into the lie. Oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're going there and you're like, oh, okay. Uh, I'm a big CEO. I'm not going to, I'm not going to wash my car. Right? I've, I've talked about this. Of course you want to get to that place. But before you get to that place, before you get to that place, get to a place of movement. Get to a place of so much movement. That you are a an action taker. Not only do you take action right away, but you are an action taker. You become so busy. You become ridiculously busy. Now, some people are gonna panic and they're gonna say, "Oh my God! Well, how would I know? I'm I'm gonna spend my whole day doing shit that doesn't matter." That's not what. That's not what matters right now. Do do a bunch of shit that doesn't pay. It's okay. That's, that's not what matters right now. What matters is that you turn yourself on. Most people, this is what I've heard from, from, from mentors. Uh, they, they, mentors are, are, are very wise. Some of them are very wise. And, and one of the mentors that I have has, has said over and over, go and um, <clears throat> don't do things that don't pay. But I, I think this mentor over this mentor oversaw. He he wasn't able to see that first he turned himself on. And so I tried to do his gig. I tried to do what he what he was saying, and I and I kept failing, and I kept failing, and I kept failing at it. And then I and till one day I just realized, wait a minute. I think this person turned themselves on first. The moment that you turn yourself on first, you have to you have to ignite yourself like a key. The moment that you turn yourself on, then then you can cherry pick, right? Then you can do that. But you have to make a muscle out of it first. Oh no, we all can do those things. We're no better. 
then others rely on yourself. Yes. We still have the same 24 hours. Yeah. And you still, you still sleep eight hours. Some of us, I mean, the other day I caught myself sleeping nine hours. You know, what kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> so, we still sleep the eight hours. Uh, the, 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 thing, the thing here is that, is that as, as soon as you think of something, boom, do it. But even, even I would add to that, right? More, more important or less important, whatever. It's, this is something that I, it took me, it took me a, a long time to understand. Do not turn off. Ignite yourself and don't turn off. If you see something, yeah, yeah, 15 minutes. Give something 15 minutes, exactly. Give something 15 minutes. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean my garage. Oh my God, it'll take me all day. No, 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 just go in there 15 minutes. Do See what you can do in 15 minutes. Time yourself. I, some of the things that I, that I, that I, that I did to, to, uh, to change my behavior was that I carried an alarm clock with me. One of those kitchen alarm clocks. That, 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 that. <laughs> I carry one around. I carry this thing around with me. I still do it from time to time because I need to remind myself. But I would be like, okay, I got 15 minutes to... See, when you, when you give yourself an, an ultimatum, you cut all the bullshit out. You cut the, oh, I'm going to play with my phone and then go do this. Oh, I'm going to think about how I'm going to do it and then I'm going to do it. No, you cut all that bullshit. So you go in there for 15 minutes and, oh my God, it's not going to be right. You're not going to clean it right. This is all perfectionism. No one said that you're going to clean it from start, from start to finish. What's going to happen is that you're going to start rolling. That's what you want to do. This is the secret of life. This is the secret of life. This is why so many people are like, is the more you do, the more you can do. Suck the marrow out of life. If you want something done, give it to the busiest person. Picasso said, I'm always doing things that I cannot do. That's how I do them. It is the motion of them. It is the motion. Yeah, just do it. And, 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 and as soon as you do something, do something else. And then do something else. And do something else. And it doesn't matter what it is. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. But you, you got to get into the habit of motion. Once you get into the habit of motion, your, your belief in yourself is going to fucking skyrocket. You're going to go, oh, I, oh my God, I, I can do anything. There's this feeling. I can do anything. That, just sustain it. The only way you can sustain that is by doing. You do, you do, you do, you do. You do. And then you go sleep your eight hours, whatever. You know, but you produce for the 16. You produce for the 16. You produce. This doesn't mean you work or you work at your job. Because people are like, oh my God, you have no idea. I work at my job so hard. And when I get home, I rest. Now, when you get home, go clean the garage. When you get home, go clean something. Go do something. Move. Go paint something. Uh, frame something. It, create the habit. Of staying in motion, like Newton's law of motion. An object in motion remains in motion. Right? An object in motion. The difference between, uh, I guess, that and human beings is that human beings create habit out of motion. And we create habit out of uh, what would be the opposite of motion. <laughs> We create habit out of being out of doing nothing, right? We create habit out of that. How many how many of us have been there, where we just we something bad happens in your life, or maybe a breakup, you know, or a divorce, or some bullshit like that, and you spend a whole weekend binge watching TV with ice cream, you know. And then in order to get back up again. Stillness, yeah, that, that would be it. Stillness, but stillness, still, stillness would be good if it's if it's mental. It's, stillness is not good when it's physical. <laughs> stillness in, 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 in your mind is is your 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 very spiritual person. Stillness in your in your in your body in your activity 
means you're a very lazy person. <laughs> it means you think so you think too much. <laughs> That's what it means. When did you get into art? I got into art about 20, 20 years ago. I think I, more now, but yeah, more. Yes, it's like a dance, keep moving. Yeah, you want to keep moving. You want to keep moving. You want to keep moving so much that people start thinking that you're ridiculous, that you're a ridiculous person. And they're going to start giving you advice and they're going to start saying, oh, you should slow down. You know what? It's not all work. Uh, hire someone. What was the first thing I, w I was told? You're going to burn out. I'm going to burn out or I need to hire someone. Didn't I buy into that? Yeah. Because since then I've, I've had a, pro a struggle with lighting myself on fire. Yeah. This is what I'm trying to tell people. As soon as you start moving... You're going you're gonna to be tempted to buy into the bullshit of you're going to burn out. When will you have time to paint? If you're doing all these other activities, then when are you going to paint? Then when are you going to work on your business? I, I'll tell you this. If you're doing all these activities, you're getting yourself into a state of motion. You will be unstoppable if you're in a state of motion. It, it, we're like a flywheel. You want to be able to do more so that you're in, you're in, a, in, a, in a perpetual state of motion. I tasted it and then I dropped it. There's this fear of doing it. There's this, oh my God, well, yeah, but I need to hire people, you know, but I need to, I need to put systems in place. Yes, but keep moving. That's good. Hire people, do this, put systems in place. But do not stop moving. Just because you're going to hire people, maybe maybe you're like, oh my god, I have to hire someone to to be on Facebook, right? Good, but act if as if you're not hiring anyone. Continue to act as if you're not hiring anyone. You know, it's 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 so important to get this, guys. This is the thing that is going to, I believe, is going to really either make you or break you in your career. I believe it's the single most important thing. And I've talked about different stuff. I talked about commitment. I talked about different stuff. But the, 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 the reality when it comes, when it comes when from pushing comes to shoving is about staying in motion. You're right. And, and when you slow down, whoever you have, whoever you're paying to help you slows down anyways. Yeah. Because that's what I realized. Like you brought in help for me. So I took like a deep breath, like, oh, I'm not doing it all alone. And I went just a little bit slower. And so they went just a little bit slower. Yeah, they're, they're biting up. And so you. they're no longer the equivalent of me. No, no, so now I need to catch up where they're, they've slowed down. Yeah. And it doesn't become help anymore. Yeah. No, no, no. And the, the thing about motion is that, is that it needs to become a habit. Yeah. You can't work. You can't be like, oh, I'm going to work really hard today. And then tomorrow you, 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 you unplug because you're tired. No, then, then, then don't do it. Right? The, the thing about motion is that you need to ignite it. And then tomorrow, even though it's painful, ignite it again. And then ignite it again. And, and keep it lit. Keep adding fire. Keep adding wood. Until that fire becomes so red, so hot. That now it has become a habit. Now when people say, I'm going to get this done, your day is full. And people say, can you do a commission for me? If your fire is not hot, your answer is going to be, oh my God, I got so much to do. Let me see. Let me see if I have time this week. Then that means your fire is not hot. That means, that means you, you are, your motion is very slow. If your fire is hot, okay, if your fire is hot, and someone says, can you do a commission? You go, yes, I'll get it done. Uh, can you finish this? Of course, I'll do it right away. Hey, you, you just got invited to a gallery show. Oh my God, I'll get it done. Let's do it. This is when your fire is hot. If your fire is not hot, you're going to start sweating bullets. And you're going to be like, oh, no, no, there's no way I can't do that. I don't have enough time. Uh, I don't, with everything I'm doing already, I can't do it. That, that, it, that only means that you have not hit that state if you can't hit that state you will never reach higher levels of success guys it will be like oh i sold a painting and then three months later oh i sold another painting 
I promise you, it is not your work. It is your work ethic. It is not your work. It is your work ethic. Okay. Everybody seems to be caught up in this idea that, it, oh, it's my artwork. It's my this. It's my that. It's the, I don't have enough time. No, it's your work ethic. This, I bought into the, into the lie. And I'm trying to share this with you guys because it was so fucking painful. It still is. I bought into the lie of don't move so fast. Don't move so hard. I bought into that lie. Early on in my career, I bought into it. And I suffered the consequences and my family suffered the consequences. And as a result, I had a career that was like this. Sometimes it was high. Sometimes it was very low. And the reason for that is because I always acted with fear. Even though I work hard, I figured out how to, how to make a living as an artist. I was able to, to, I thought I was moving very, very hard. I was still acting with fear. There was this part of me that was, oh man, if I do this, how will I do the other things? And that is not what you want to be thinking about. What you want to be thinking about is I need to do more because this needs to turn, this needs to turn into a habit. Yeah, not our work, but our work, I think. Ready? All right, guys. I'll leave you with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. Uh, if you're an artist, stop focusing on your work and start, start focusing on your work ethic. It's the thing that's going to save you, not your work. Everybody paints well, guys. Everybody paints nice. Everybody paints great. Almost nobody knows how to work. Almost nobody knows how to work. We were taught to work hard, but we were never taught to work continuously. And that's the difference. Take care, guys. Peace.